So I've talked to some reactive analytics. Let's take a look at something that could be a predictive analytics. And it's gonna be specific to an alert that we have, predictive maintenance, nil tailing support. So go ahead and put that. So the what behind us is the general information. We get a description of that particular item, the usage, its capacity, what its overall operating speed has been, and the fact that we're not getting a very specific alarm, but that there's a potential specific to this. We have our escalation matrix, but that's the what. So what of this? Let's take a look at that. So when we go to the analysis portion, the so what, this is where the predictive analysis comes in. If I take a look at that part right now, I have a 23% chance of failure. If we look at a week from now, 55, and a month from now, 83%. Typically, we would allow a part to fail, we'll repair it, but that part failing is on its time of choosing, which typically is at the most in advantage, excuse me, in advantage, I'm not even gonna try to say that right now, at the worst time possible, how would that be? And so that impacts production. The analysis behind this is now giving us, if we fix now part on hand, it's $51,000 out of our inventory. The estimated time of repair, so now if we look at a time of our choosing, to which we have an operational lull, to which it doesn't have a significant impact, the overall cost to replace is $112,000. If I allow that part to fail at its time of choosing, which again, will be at the worst possible time, the potential impact to our overall production and loss could be $440,000. So an estimated savings of around $200,000. So it's looking at that predictive capability. Do I allow it to happen, or do we do it at a time of choosing? So the escalation matrix is important in this part. So once we have done this particular element, the operator or the person responsible for that, we have that direct discussion. Here's what we're seeing, here are the numbers behind it, but then simultaneous to that, the inform goes out. So for this example, Curtis wouldn't be wondering, Rob, why are you replacing something that hasn't broken? He's already seen the data relevant to, if you choose to do it now, you're going to save us this approximate amount of money. So it gives us that capability, instead of Curtis having to have an informational meeting with me, understands the why behind the reason teams are taking particular actions. So again, we're going to assign this. Comes a completed action. And now, the, oh, the, 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 the thing that I really like about this one is, a lot of times these things, they're going to happen on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The people that might make the decision, order the parts, are not always on site or available by phone at those times. So, what this allows you to do, and, and these folks would have access to what's in inventory, right? You may know I have the part, I don't have the part. If it's a long lead part, you know, you know they're gonna escalate very quickly if it's long lead, if it's critical, and we'll get it ordered immediately as opposed to waiting two or three days until the right people are in place. We will escalate, order, you know, look at what we have on hand, 